Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a charity shop slash thrift haul. And I'm also going to be showing you some fab shoes that I got sent by Fitville. So let's get cracking. Hiya, how are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. If, uh, um, yeah, if you can hear noises in the background, I've got my washing machine on, so sorry. But I've got so much washing to get through. I've got a mountain of washing because, um, yeah, I've just left it and left it and left it. I've got two clothes areas in the window trying to get everything dry because I don't have a tumble dryer and I don't have an hanging space outside. So my washing ends up over the clothes areas. Um, they're both almost full and I've got another two wash loads in there to do. Three, including the one that's in the washing machine. So yeah, washing, washing, washing. Right, <laughs> so sorry. It's making a ee noise at the moment. Anyway, the lovely Fitville got in touch with me um, and asked me if they could send me some shoes out now. At the time, I'd recently done my arm break surgery, Mark. That's my surgery update. Look how fab it's looking. Looking a heck of a lot better than it has been for ages. All right, I've still got quite a lot of bruising and stuff going on. But it is what it is. You know, it's actually mending now. Still got wrist drop, but um, going to see a hand specialist at some point soon. So with all that in mind, when they contacted me and asked me if they could send me out some shoes, I thought, perfect opportunity to get some shoes that I can pull on or that I don't have to fasten laces. I can actually manage laces now, but at the time that I requested these, um, I couldn't manage laces. Now, what's amazing about this company, I'm going to put my gigs on because I'm going to tell you about them, but um, and I do have to read a bit. What's amazing is they do all these different uh, widths of shoes. They've got shoes for people who've got um, uh, walking difficulties, who might have, you know, sort of arthritis in the feet, all sorts of stuff. And um, they've got loads of different designs. I picked two um, at, that I thought would be ideal for work, but they didn't have one pair in black. So I said, just send me them out in any colour. And I'm really pleased with the colour that they've sent me. Okay, so I'm going to show you the first pair that they sent me in a different colour. Right, because these are actually my favourite pair. Okie dokie. Although the other pair is going to be brilliant for working in. Right, I've actually got a pair of trainers from these as well. I might show you those in a minute, but that I've worn to death. And they still look as good as the day that I got them. Right, so I know this company, the very, very... Um, well lasting shoes right so this is um the design that i plumped for they've got a nice thick sole on them so very supportive the super cushioned inside this is what my trainers are like and they've got this um super elastic -y. hang on let me pull it the middle bit out right the super elastic -y on the tops so they're so comfortable can't even tell you and non-slip, right, love them, really, really love them, there they are, Fitville there, can you see it, what else did it say, brisk walk, I don't know brisk the walk is that I do, you know, usually I'm shuffling my feet, like, unless I'm on my way home and then I tear it along the road to get in, <laughs> I'm like, yes, I've worked all day, I'm going home, I'm going to sit down, get my feet up and stuff, but yeah, love these, I wish they'd had them in the black, because this is my favourite pair, like I say, but I think I'll get wear out of these, you know, when I'm at home and stuff, because they're just so nice and comfy, and um, you know, I, I can't, I, as I'm getting older, um, I really appreciate a comfy shoe, you know, I don't want, I don't want to prize my feet into like fashion shoes and things because that comforts everything to me. So I absolutely love these. I do have a charity shop haul to show you as well after these, but anyway, I wanted to show you my shoes. So that's the first pair. I've got both shoes. They've not just sent me one of each, you know what I mean? Right. Um, so yeah, that's my first pair of shoes, um, which I love. What size did I get these in? I think I got them in a seven. Um, that's usually the size I go for, and they look like a good size seven. Let me see if I can get, I can 
see whether it actually fits me. Oh my goodness, there's bags of room in there. Bags of room. Let me see if I can pull my foot up right. Yeah, I've got loads of room. I'd even be able to get a nice chunky sock in that, you know, or a um, trainer sock. Um, they're so comfy. Wow, feels like I've got no on my foot. Um, so yeah, that, that's the first pair. Let me tell you a bit more about them because otherwise they'll be telling me off because I haven't told you enough. They've gifted me these, so I have to tell you some details, right? Okay. So, they, oh, they give me a money off coupon. That's the most important thing. So, if you use Kim30, I'll put it here, you get 30% off on the website, which I think is great. Sometimes I only get 10 and 15% off, so I'm really pleased when they give me 30% off. I, or using the link, which will be in the description box. That's the other thing. Fitville is a cutting edge company pursuing foot, hu human foot health. Well, I can vouch for the fact that um, they are super comfy and you can get stuff for all different kinds of, um, you can search your, whatever foot conditions you've got and stuff like that. And it pulls you up some shoes that might be suitable. Prevent sprained ankles and knee injuries. That's interesting. We are friendly to those who have foot problems and have wide feet. Right. I don't have, have particularly wide feet, but after a day's work, my feet have spread. You know, like I've been on my feet for like 10 hours. My feet will naturally spread. So I do sometimes buy the wider fit if I know I'm going to be wearing them at work all day. So I appreciate that as well. Wide toe boxes, patented Propel Core TM EVA shoes. I don't even know what that means with shock absorbing pads. All to provide you with a cushioned and comfortable experience. Right, okay. I think I've read enough of that. All right, I'm going to show you my other pair. Now, these are a wide fit shoe. But what's great about them is um, they've got Velcro on them. These are going to be my new work shoes. Right, let me take the bit out the middle so I can show you them. Right, these are there. They've got Velcro over the top. Fabulous. Fabulous when you've got an arm injury as well. I think they ought to mention that. People who've got like problems with their hands and stuff. I've got arthritis in my fingers and now I've got my wrist drop. Um, being able to have a shoe with it, you know, that sort of opens up that wide. Can you see how wide that opens? Slip my foot in, Velcro it shut and you can Velcro it tighter or um, slacker depending on your needs. Is going to be fabulous. Yet again, super cushioned bottom, nice thick sole. Um, make it comfy for walking so um, yeah they're going to be my work shoes these are less stretchy and more like um, sort of what would I call it textured fabric but they're nice and soft on the inside and um, like I say you can adjust that velcro going over the top fabulous pair of work shoes for me there you know, I have to wear black shoes, so the fact they've only got a little bit of silver on, I'll get away with those at work. So, um, love them. Non-slip bottoms on them again. So, that's going to be great when it's, like, wet. And there's a piece when I'm walking on to work here that gets super slippery if it rains. It doesn't have to be icy or anything. It's super slippery. And the pair of shoes I've got at the moment for work, all the treads off the bottom. So I have to cross over before I get to that bit of the road. Otherwise, I'm frightened to fall on my bum. So um, these are going to be great that I'm not having to worry about slipping now, getting past that little bit of path. It's just super slippy. I don't know what it is about that little bit of path. But as soon as there's any moisture on it, I'm sliding all over the place. So I'm very, very happy to have these shoes now that are not going to have me slipping. So anyway, that's my shoes from Fitville. If you're thinking about ordering from them, no pressure ever. If you're thinking about ordering from them, don't forget the money off code, which is Kim30 for 30% off. Okay, on to, where have I put them? Oh, here they are, my charity shop haul. Now I bought all these before I got made redundant. Right, okay. And I've just been, I've had them sitting here. This incidentally is a charity shop find. But I couldn't wear it at first when I'd got like um, a pot on my arm. Um, but now I can fit everything on again. I normally have my wrist brace on, but it's in the washing machine. That's what's tumbling at the moment and stuff. Um, not tumbling, but spinning, right. Um, so I haven't got it on at the moment because it's not safe for me to have it like this all the time. 
Whereas when I've got my wrist brace on, it's nice and um, solid and I can wash that, that. I just need to take the metal bit out of it, wash it, get it dry, bang, it's back on again. So it'll be back on again by this afternoon. So nobody worry about the fact that my arm is droopy like this. I do wear the wrist brace. Okay, but yeah, this I absolutely love. Got this at a charity shop. Absolute bargain. So I was looking around all charity shops and got myself some really nice bits. This one I got from the Children's Society. I'm going to do a try-on in that. Um, I'll try on my shoes as well with these. It's a blouse, very, very similar sort of fabric to this one, cotton blouse. It's from, it says, he loves me, he loves me not. But I bought it from the Children's Society. I bought it in a size, it's a size large, 14. Is a 14 a large? Depends where you go, I suppose. £3.29 this one. Love it. Love a bit of pattern. Love a cotton blouse for the summer. It's quite short in the body. Just lift it up like that. Bit longer at the back. It's got like a three-quarter sleeve with this little detail at the bottom here. A little tie detail and stuff. Buttons all the way down the front. V-neck. No. Yeah, it is a V-neck, kind of. It goes into a V-neck, but you can have it high buttons. Um, yeah, buttons all the way down the front, these cute little buttons. And um, at the back, it's just got a yoke and then goes down a bit longer at the back. But I absolutely loved it. Thought the pattern were great. I like a bit of jazziness in a blouse, you know. And I like the fact it were cotton, nice and thin and cooling for the warm weather. So super happy with that one. Really liked it. Um, very pleased with the price at £3.29. It's very hit and miss at our charity shops, right? Children's Society tends to be a whole lot cheaper than any of the other ones around here. Um, Age UK can be quite pricey. And then all the other ones are somewhere sort of in between. So I tend to pick up a lot from the Children's Society. We've got three Children's Society shops around here tend to pick up a lot from them because the prices are always amazing. But I have got stuff from other places anyway. So this one's also from the children's site. Also £3.29 and in a size 14. Um, but this is originally from Marx's. It's a t-shirt, just a little t-shirt, um, fitted in sleeve, which I really appreciate. And then it just goes straight down in the body, round neck, but it's a Marxist t-shirt and I love Marxist t-shirts. They wash amazingly well. And I love the pattern in this sort of mustard colour with sort of navy. And it looks like grey. Navy and grey on pattern on it. Just loved it. Thought I'd get loads of wear out of that, you know. Absolutely loads of wear out of it. Um, and I love that it were a Marxist one. I know Marxist t-shirts you can get for about £7, but I thought £3.29 were just amazing. So I got that one. Then I got this one. Where did I get this from? Um, oh, I got this from somewhere else. Got this from Age UK and this were £3.99. So it's just like a little camisole top in navy and white check. Where's it originally from? This is m &S as well, fab. Right, okay, so it's no sleeves and it is just a camisole top, but at the bottom it's got this extra band going round it. Let me see if I can lift it up and show you. Sorry, with the dodge arm. Can you see how at the bottom it, it's got this extended bit of fabric? At the front it's got this little frill going all the way down with white lace in the middle of it. It's also in like a cotton fabric. And at the back, it's even got some details. It's got like where the yoke is at the back, it's got these little buttons that go down the centre, which I loved. And it's in this navy, it's not really gingham, is it? But it's navy and blue, sort of similar to gingham check. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. I paid, like I say, £3.99. I got this in a 14 or a large. But another M&S little top. Thought that would be lovely for the um, summer as well with um, a cardi over the top maybe or take it off when it gets nice and warm in this glorious summer that I'm expecting the UK is going to have. It's not, is it? You know, we'll probably get two days of it and that'll be the end. 
Then I bought a pair of jeggings. Okay. Now, I can get my jeans up again. But this, I bought these prior. Are they jeggings or are they jeans? Next up, a pair of jeans. Okay. Now, I can actually get my jeans on again. Right, which I'm really, really pleased about. So I can pull them up and I can actually fasten the button. These fingers have now got some strength in them, right, from using them. And as long as I've got my wrist brace on, I can use this hand really, really well. Um, but I saw this pair of jeans that were from uh, the Cat Protection League and they were only £2. Now, they're too short. They're absolutely too short. They've been stitched up by somebody cut and stitched up. But what I'm going to do is cut, can you see inside, they've just been tacked up. I'm just going to cut off that bit and have them as a frayed crop jean. Okay, I bought these in a size 12 and they're originally from Pep & Co, which is like Poundland, isn't it? So it's um, a pair, uh, just a traditional pair of jeans with a straight leg. It's got real pockets, real button, real zip at the front real patch pockets at the back and belt loops they are super short in the legs so no good um for a long leg person like me to wear as a full length but like i say i'm gonna crop them and wear them as a pair of sort of frayed edge um cut offs and if they look shockingly bad with the frayed edge i am going to use my sewing machine and sew them up right properly so that's my plan for this pair they are incredibly short for me very very short because my legs are my longest bit you know i'm hoping that that goes around because now i've got my appetite back you know i might be putting back on the weight that i lost when i had no appetite but anyway two pound from cat protection league what else did i buy oh i bought this pair of trousers just really like these so these are a pair of like um, cotton linen trousers, originally from Marks and Spencers. They were four pounds and I bought them in a size 12 from also from the Cats Protection League. But they looked like they had a wider bit round the top. I'm hoping I can prize my body into them because my waist is not my thinnest bit. So we'll have to wait and see, won't we? But they're like um, a wide leg pair of cotton linen trousers um with have they got pockets they have they've got side pockets at the front here um a button and a zip and then they just go down into straight legs now if they fit me i can wear them at work they've got pockets on the back as well with these buttons on them two buttons and they do have belt loops i don't tend to wear belts unless i absolutely have to um, because it just digs in around my fattest bit, you know, which is my waist. But I thought I'd give them a go for £4 uh, for a pair of Marx's pants. And like I say, if they fit me, I could get away with those at work, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not I'd, I'm not allowed to wear leggings at my new job. So I'm um, I'm having to find proper black trousers now. So that's, that's sad as well. I can't wear leggings because they are the comfiest thing. And the easiest thing to wash when you're working with babies. Right, I've got a couple more bits. Righty all this little camisole, which I just love the pattern of. This is from, um, let me have a look, because I was well impressed when I found this. This is from Hollister, and it was £3 in a size 12 from the Cats Protection League. Okay. Um, it's got um, little spaghetti straps, but it, they fasten at the back. So it sort of crosses at the back. Can I even hold this up? Right, so that's the front. It is just a camisole. And then at the back, can you see that where it sort of crosses over and comes together? Just thought it were lovely. Thought it'd be great with a blazer over the top. I love the colours of it. This pink and sort of um, rusty brown colour like this in they look a bit like what's that pattern that i can't ever remember the name of paisley but they're not quite paisley you know what i mean it's it's not quite there is it um but yeah i just loved it thought it looked a bit like hippie-ish you know um and just a little camisole it's in very nice material as well it feels nice 
feels more like a polyester, but a nice polyester, you know. It's straight across at the bottom. So that's the bottom there. But yeah, very, very happy with that one. I'd have to wear some over the top because I have to wear a bra. Um, so, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll give it a go anyway. It'll be nice, you know. I think that one's going to be okay. And then last up, I got this pink top, which were originally from Next, and I bought it also at the Cats Protection League and paid £4 for it, and it's in a size 12. Okay, and it's a little pink blouse. So that's the front. It's got quite a high neck with a little puffy sleeve on it in this jazzy pink colour. Elastic round the bottom, so it's about a half to three quarter sleeve. This is elasticated, even though it's got like a little button on it. Has it? No, it hasn't. I'm imagining a button. No, it's just like um, elastic around there. Yeah, that took me a minute just to check. And it's got a little button at the back of the neck here um, with an opening. Now, I sometimes struggle with those. Um, so we'll have to see whether that works out for me. But the blouse just goes straight down. It's sort of semi-see-through. Can you see? Like... You see how it's semi-see-through? But I just love the colours of it. Thought it'd be really cute in the summer with a pair of, like, um, jeggings, you know. Thought that'd be really nice. So I decided to pick it up anyway. It's probably my least favourite or the one I'm least confident about out of the lot. But um, for £4, thought I'd give it a go. So those are all my things from the lovely charity shop or charity shops or thrifting. Um, so what I'm going to do is go away and try them on. I'll insert the try-ons now. Then I'll come back. Okay, first outfit. Right, the jeans fit perfectly around my top. Um, I'm showing you what I mean about how short they are. I, I think these might be nice shorts, you know, um, rather than just crops. Um, but I'm not sure. What do you think? Crops or shorts am I turning these into? Uh, yeah, the bra is totally wrong for this uh, top because you can see white bralette completely underneath it. See what I mean? Needs nude. Needs nude. Definitely, definitely. Managed to fasten the button at the back really easily though. So I absolutely love both of these. Like I say, these need either just cutting and stitching as crops or are we going shorts with them? That's the question. I'll turn around and show you the back. My washing machine's going in the background, apologies. So that's the back. Yeah, I, I like both of them. Just the bralette under this is uh, definitely the wrong bralette and I don't know whether to go turn these into shorts or just crop them and stitch them better than they are at the moment. What do we think? Uh, yeah, those are my sort of thoughts on these, but I do like both of them. Wish this had just a fraction more room around here, but um, it fits all right, you know, it does fit all right. Um, and with a nude bra, I can see it working for me. Wow, it is warm today, trying on clothes, and I've only just started. Okay, I'm gonna keep these on and try a couple more tops before I try the black trousers on. I'm also gonna shut that door because the washing machine is driving me crazy. One minute. Okay, fractionally quieter. I'll try something else on. Okay, blouse. Let me get my hair out. Goodness me. It's cause I have to pull everything over my head that way rather than anything else. I like it slightly snug over where I've had my operation. I've got a lot of swelling at this part of my arm. Um, but I think as that goes down, it's going to be loads better. This arm, it feels absolutely fine on. So um, I'm very happy with it. Like I say, I think once this bit, the swelling goes, that'll be even better. Uh, love this one. Really love this one. Slightly tuck it, you know. Um, it's going to be great. Nice for the summer, I think. Show you the back. Great, I like it a lot. Um, I love the colourways of it. I'm hoping from a distance it's not doing that thing that makes me look like I'm not wearing out. Um, I don't think it is, but um, yeah, you can't be too careful, can you? You know what I mean? 
the guard and people are starting looking at me like this from a distance that might be slightly worrying but um yeah all in all i'm very happy with it so um and these jeans are perfect absolutely fit me perfectly everything slides down when your waist is the biggest bit i'm afraid so i do have to oik them up from time to time but they do fit me perfectly zip back up um apart from the length obviously so uh what should i try on next i might actually put the i'll try the little uh, navy checky camisole and then i'll change into the black trousers see if they fit me oh i love this one this is cute i like it a lot um yeah really like it i don't know whether it goes with this color of denim but i do like it an awful lot could imagine it with a little cardi over you know quite a lightweight one or a jacket um i won't show you that side this arm does still don't match this arm so when i turn to this side it all gets wider towards the bottom but yeah um I like it a lot. I like where the length is. It's not oversized or anything. You know, I've not got a lot of room in it. So um, if I put on weight, this is gonna be one of the first that sort of is no good for me. But I do like it, like this detail. Like the little buttons at the back. I think it's cute. You know, yeah, I like it. So. <laughs> I never know, you know, I'm trying these on and the whole time I'm like, do I like it? Do I not like it? I get a better idea once I look at the footage and then obviously once everybody comments on them, that's when I get the best idea. I am going to try my shoes on, but I'll do that in a minute. Okay. Right. I'm going to try the black trousers on. There's no elastic in those, so it's going to be hit and miss whether they're going to fit me, but then I'll try some of the other tops on. Right, <laughs> goodness me, <laughs> trying on clothes is tough. Right, these fit me fine. I'm really chuffed that they fit me. They're not super long in the legs, but they're going to be great for work. You know, I could see me wearing these for work. Don't matter if they're vaguely half masked, if you see what I'm making at work. Nobody's going to care about that. And they fit me great. They're not super high waisted. The sort of a mid rise on these but because I like the way they fit me I think they're going to be fine um, and I love this t-shirt absolutely love it both of these are Marxies so um, I feel like they've got I can, you know I can tell the quality of them um, briefly show you the back so yeah I absolutely love them the t-shirt is great really really nice um yeah it just fits perfectly so do the trousers with the exception of them being quite um the, you know i could have done with an extra inch they're not short short but i could have done with an extra inch on them maybe there look see what i mean um but they'll be perfect for work so i'm gonna with these on i'm gonna briefly show you my shoes okay i'll tip you down my carpet probably needs vacuuming, so uh, apologies for that. But these are the pinky red shoes that I won't be able to wear for work, but will be able to wear at home. See what I mean? Really comfy, really nice. Easy to get on. Can easily get these on with um, without using my hands. Just need to adjust the tongue bit at the front. So that's my first pair of shoes. Thanks to Fitville for these. They are super comfy, super springy, you know, um, great. Don't go with this outfit, but you know, I can imagine other things that they would go with. And my work ones. Work ones, okay. These are even easier to get on. So, and the, they're quite big. I can tell they are wide fitting. So I've, I'm having to pull them round quite tight at this point. But if I'd been on my feet all day at work, I could see me loosening them off to make it a bit more comfortable, you know. So work ones, so see, 
black trousers, shoes, great. Absolutely love them, love my shoes and love both of these, you know. So um, very happy with my buys this time. Right, I'm gonna tip you back up, hang on. Is that straight? Are we straight? We're okay. Right, I'm gonna try on the last camisole. Um, but yeah, I am super happy with my things. I think these are my favorites. The jeans I love um, and the orangey blouse so far. But I'll try this, um, who's it by? The camisole that's by a company I've never seen. Hollister. I'll try the Hollister one on. Although I am keeping my white bralette on. So you are going to be able to see white bra straps and probably a bit of the bralette. But we're going to give it a go anyway. Who cares? Okay. Like I say, bra straps. But we'll cover it with my hair for now. I actually love it. I think with the right... I don't understand why this is the bit down the front. Have I got it on back to front? Is this the thing? Uh, I don't know. I think I don't think I have based. No, I can't have based on that crossover bit at the back. Um, how far have I got it on straight? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, I like it. Would need something over it and the proper bra underneath it, not this white bralette. You know, but with a proper like bralette or bra under it with a thin strap, I think it'd be nice. I'm going to show you the back. It's probably going to look shocking with this bra on. Yeah, but I actually like it. I think this is one of my favourites as well. Just not with this bra, you know. I think with the right bra, like I say, this would be really nice. Um, very happy with it, you know. Really, really happy with it. So all in all, I've really enjoyed my clothes. So I'm gonna hand you back. Oh, I'm well chuffed with my charity shop finds. Um, those black trousers are amazing. I'm so pleased that they fit me. I love the jeans, um, but I need some advice on where I crop them. Do I make them into a pair of shorts for the summer or do I just crop them and stitch them. I think I'm going to end up stitching them in all honesty. I don't know whether I want a raggy M. Um, but do I crop them and stitch them as the cropped length or do I crop them and stitch them as a pair of shorts? That's the question. I need some help on. Um, and as for my tops, I love me Max's t-shirt. I'm trying to think what else I've just tried on. Where are they? Um, I like the Hollister little um, camisole top with a pattern on it. Definitely needs a different bralette underneath it and a jacket or a cardio over the top. Um, and I like the orangey blouse. That I really, really like that orangey blouse. I'll show you what I mean. This one, right, absolutely. They're all inside out from me trying them on. This one I absolutely love. This one is okay. Fit I felt nice on, needs a nude bra under it. One might be a little bit snug. Did it look too small on me? I liked it, but did it look too tight around my midriff? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. If you can give me any advice, uh, it'll be gratefully received. I always, always appreciate advice from people on here because, um, yeah, I don't always know what suits me, you know. Uh, frequently don't know what suits me and most of the time I wear what doesn't suit me. So um, I'm always interested to hear your comments. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. I'll also link the uh, Fitville, the money off code and everything to do with links for those shoes and everything else just in case you want to go ahead and get yourself any at all. No pressure, but... Um, from my perspective, they're so good for work. And if you've got foot problems, um, brilliant. They're super comfy, you know what I mean? And I'd highly recommend. And thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!